What's going on family? Robert here. So I've heard somebody say a phrase something like this, if you can't do something in good conscience, don't do it. And that is essentially how Paul concludes this discussion in Liberties in Romans chapter 14. If you remember, Paul is talking about a dispute that is occurring in the Roman church around, around food that can be eaten, whether they can eat meat or not eat meat, whether they can drink wine or not drink wine. And Paul's saying that the kingdom, God's rule on this earth, is so much more than that. So much more is what the church should be concerned about, not what we decide to put within our body. He said what the kingdom's focus is righteousness, it's peace, it's joy in the Holy Spirit. And we should seek peace and not seek division among our brothers and sisters, especially around disputable matters or matters of opinion. And in the summary and summation of his thought about these disputable matters, Paul says this in verse 22. So whatever you believe about these things, keep between yourself and God. Blessed is the one who does not condemn himself by what he approves. But whoever has doubts is condemned if they eat, because their eating is not from faith. And everything that does not come from faith is sin. Paul says that if you believe that you can eat something, if you believe that you have this right or this ability, but you know someone else doesn't, keep that between yourself and God. Don't sit up here and try to raise things up just to cause arguments and cause divisions and hurt feelings. And he says it's good if you have that liberty. If the Spirit hasn't convicted you, that's fine. It is a good thing to not be condemned by something that you can do. But then he speaks now to the person who is condemned by that, who is condemned. And maybe they're convinced, hey, you can do that. You have this freedom in Christ. So they go ahead and do that. And then they feel convicted and condemned. For that person, them doing that and not doing it in a good conscience, that's sin for them. That's sin. Maybe somebody else can do it in a good conscience. But if, but if you can't, the Bible says if you can't do it in faith, it is sin. And so the text is really trying to tell us that if you have a liberty to go and do something and you feel no conviction about it and the Bible doesn't specifically say it's sin, go ahead, enjoy yourself. But if you don't have that conviction, if you do have that conviction and you go and do that and you feel convicted, Obviously, that was sin, and you shouldn't have done it in the first place. But then the third thing that this text is telling us, that the larger text is telling us, is this. That if you know your brother has an issue with this, then you shouldn't do it, and you shouldn't bring it up to them. Even though you know that, that it is okay, that biblically it is fine, that you have no conviction about it. But for the sake of that person, we defer our liberties for peace, and for mutual upbringing. Brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm not sitting up here and telling you that this is easy, that, that, that we're going to always want to uh, do, give up something that we enjoy for the sake of someone else. But what I can say is that, isn't that the example of Christ? Didn't he take his home in glory and, and give that up? to come down here and live on earth with us. And then he bore our sins on a cross, something that he did not want to do. He, he prayed in the garden three times, let this cup pass from me. But he gave up that liberty for us. So if our Savior, our example and our Lord, was willing to give up his liberties on our behalf to save us, how much more should we be willing to help out our brothers and sisters who don't have the liberties that we have. Think about that. If you got some thoughts, go ahead and put it down in the chat. And with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this discussion on liberties. We can get divided so easily by disputable matters and matters of opinion. But that is not your heart for us. 
Your heart is for us to love our neighbor, to give up our liberty, and to not do things in sin that our hearts have convicted us of. Help us to live this out and help us to reflect you in it. In Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. So thank you for studying with me. Thank you for walking with me through Romans 14. Come back for more daily devotions. God bless.